Hi and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. Uh, we've uh, changed the format a little bit for you today and instead of talking about doing something on the computer in Photoshop Elements with your images we're going to have a little bit of a uh, equipment review and um, in order to put something in Photoshop Elements you have to have an image obviously and uh, one way to capture that is with some good lenses and I would encourage you to check uh, and see um, if there is a review of a lens before you purchase it, uh, many of the sites have it, like B&H, they'll have customer reviews. And you can also get some unbiased and more technical ones on dpreview.com and on popphoto.com. But today we're going to talk about the Tokina ATX Pro D 100mm macro. And this is it right here on a, a Nikon. D80. Now, I really can't say enough uh, good about this lens. I would, um, the only thing that I can really think of in terms of a negative is that it only comes in Canon and Nikon mounts and it doesn't have a built in motor, so it will only focus manually on some cameras, uh, for example, like the D5000 Nikon. Uh, but I still shoot it on the, the D5000 and you, you know you just have to take a little more time and carefully focus. Now this is a full frame lens so that means uh, it uh, the 100 millimeter focal length is uh, what it would be on a full frame DSLR or a 35 millimeter film camera. If you shoot it on an uh, APS-C size camera like the D80 or uh, like a Canon Rebel for example your focal length is equivalent to 150 millimeters. But it's a true macro and that means that it focuses down to one to one or life size and it has a constant f2.8 aperture which really makes it nice. It gives you a bright view inside your viewfinder and it's great for focusing if you're doing it manually and for checking focus. Now it weighs a bit over a pound and it has um, uh, it comes with its own lens hood and as you see uh, it bayonets and reverses and goes back on for storage when the lens isn't in use and the the total length uh, if, if you're uh, racked all the way back here is about three and a half inches I had it out quite a ways it has a maximum extension of about six or so now the, uh, one nice thing too is that it has a, a modest 55 millimeter filter size and I would recommend that you uh, put a filter like this Hoya HMC Super Multi Coated on your lens anyway. Now one of the uh, unusual features about the lens is that it has a single two-way switch here on the barrel and that gives you three focusing range options. Uh, you have the full focusing range, you have a half life size to infinity which is great for portraits and it also has a close focusing only range which would be half life size to one to one. Uh, if you have a, um, a camera if you want to that has the built in motor like this D80 uh, you can shoot in autofocus or in manual focus with just a pull push of this collar. So now, uh, Popular Photography has a technical review of this lens and it showed excellent sharpness performance at all its apertures and at magnifications plus really superb distortion control. And you can read the entire uh, technical review of that at popphoto.com and I can confirm the image quality from my own extensive testing. And here's another reason that you might want to invest in this lens if you're interested in shooting macro, and that is the price. Uh, the big box stores like B&H and Adorama have this for about $400, and if you don't think that's a bargain, then compare it with the uh, Nikon and Canon lenses uh, equivalent within their line. So I hope you have a great week, and we'll talk again. Take care out there. Bye-bye.